Hello everyone, this is, uh, Andy, and today uh, well, we are going to talk about the Ash Season 7, episode 11, which came out, um, last week, I think, I think it was, yes, it came out, it's, uh, it's titled Family Matters, or two. I wanted to rant about about this uh, season because there are because I, I, I was wondering should the flash just be done after season eight or not? Because even though I'm super stoked about Impulse uh, coming. Uh, to the Flash and Godspeed coming too, but it, ha it has its up and its goals, especially when starting um, the recent mid-season finale with uh, Speed Force Nora and the other forces. It would have made that type of storyline would have made. An, an interesting um, plot, except for the fact that the writers made Paul weird. But what I mean by that, say for example, um, Iris and Barry referring to like strangers, adults that they just met as their children, when like the forces are not really known. Adult person, and technically, from what the story I've, I got, and they're not, uh, they're not, uh, like actual, they're, they're, they're not the actual elemental force. Like, no, no, is it just feel weird to call to for them to call adult strangers as their children. It's, and it also especially felt weird that Barry's mother, Nora, saw Iris as competition when Iris is like the woman Barry grew up with and his child and he's not married to and that was the whole uh, plot device that started the entire fight against, against um, the speed forces and Nora and Nora wanted to kill this, the, the forces and stuff and it just felt it just felt weird it, it, it and the way they ended it like it, it was as if Barry never fought Really fought the, f the forces and Nora. The way they ended it is the concept of love, like love and friendship, and family, um, uh, solves everything. And uh, and the Ash universe. Um, it felt. When I was watching it, it felt like the writers never read the comic books. I've never read I'm someone that's never read been read the comic books. And to me, it felt like they didn't realize what they were plotting or writing until they were in too deep back. And they just continued on to rely on the family dynamic that they established. If the forces were just uh, personifications like Nora, it wouldn't be so weird. But like they're uh, they're actual people, and it's it's one thing to say that your friends are your family and stuff, but it's another to call adult strangers your children. 
again. Super weird. <laughs> Super weird. Um. Also, also. Remember that that last scene in the last episode where Nora killed Iris and the Versus? Well, that was just like a fake out because apparently Psyche got a new power where he made fusion save them and it just felt so bad that it didn't establish their powers really well and we got super confused on of the powers that each first had and what they represent mainly because I didn't read the comics um, but yeah also there wasn't really a bad guy in the mid-season finale like as the stars of Star progress uh, you can tell that there's been quakes happening in Central City and Nora tells Barry that the quakes are a result of the forces themselves and they're the bad guys and the more Nora grows evil and gothy um, they realize that Nora isn't the bad guy and the forces aren't the bad guy and because the answer to everything is love uh, Barry and Iris talk Nora down from her evil mess and they get all the forces together and the protect decide to go to the speed force together and become the public forces entirely. Human the people that had human lives are just going to go into a cosmic time bubble and be okay living there. Again if they were just the forces personified, it would be weird and it wouldn't make sense. But it's just a bunch of people. And that's. It just felt. It's such a great story. It's probably because of COVID that it has a rush storyline, but like, guys, come on. Like. Even, even like, like comic book logic, this is nonsense. Even by soap opera logic, nonsense. Um, it didn't land well. It confused the heck out of me. Um, it, it, by far, I think this was probably like the worst mid-season finale of The Flash that I've ever seen. And I just didn't enjoy it. Continue watching The Flash just for the nostalgic feeling because I started watching The Flash way back when the first the first episode aired. Started watching The Flash and I've been watching it ever since. I stopped watching season seven for a little bit and only restarted a couple weeks ago. And back to what I was saying. On to the next thing. The worst thing that wastes so much time and the wires just uh, killed their own plot line and storyline was what happened with Killer Kill Frost. Um, so the whole story of Killer Frost was that um, the 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 whole the whole the whole story with Kira Frost was that she was pursued by Vincent Kramer is up to stand trial and she was arrested and she was given uh, the opportunity to uh, to get out of jail I mean jail time the shame that she takes the with a human cure, which would have set a precedent on, like, if any, like, criminal marijuana humans were caught and arrested, they could be forced to be taken, to take the cure, um, out without their consent. 
So give her flowers, touch her principles, and refused, and she accepted a lifetime, lifetime prison to avert it. But this just went all out of the window because the, when the first storm was happening, it cracked a hole in Arahash prison and all the prisoners escaped, which included Killer Frost. Um, and if you remember, what I said is that Frost agreed to go to jail without the person or parole to prove that she was a good guy and that you can't take away Metabuman's powers uh, against people's real wills. And then she goes to arrest like, Chill Blade, who was so he's like the best villain uh, who broke out and covered his neck. And which also is also super weird because he is technically not a, a meta human. The show refers to him as a meta human. And Basically, what happened was that after she helped arrest Shobri and a bunch of other Meta Unions, she uh, got uh, her parole on probation, which her sentence also excluded because she had to go to um a lifetime prison sentence without the proper probability of parole and she just shows up to Caitlyn Snow's apartment and says that she has a crush on some guess who it is that's okay what was the whole episode about the, about her trial if they were just going to undo it two weeks later like what's going on that's it for that's that's my rat for today um i'm going to keep watching the flash uh just for the sake of it i'll do that to my head just for the sake of it but yeah this season finale just got me if you like this video, please comment down below and subscribe and give it a like to YouTube video and before watching, peace.